Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering pulmonic stenosis. Now, pulmonic stenosis is part of the acyanotic um, heart failure group of uh, videos that I've been doing. So pulmonic stenosis, you don't expect to see that patient turning blue, but you do expect to see those signs and symptoms of heart failure that we're about to get into. So this is actually the last part of the series for the acyanotic acyanotic heart failure, um, cardiovascular congenital disorders. Now, the next group of uh, videos I'm going to do are going to be the cyanotic disorder. So make sure you guys watch out for that. Before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like this video. Help my algorithm. Like it now so you don't forget. You know you're going to love the video. Like it. Sus subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget, I have audio lessons available for you on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. I did a live in NCLEX Priority and Delegation Live on Sunday, the 21st. So if you missed that live, I do have it uh, posted on my website. Not on my website, I'm lying to you. I have it posted on my YouTube channel. Be sure to watch that live if you are studying to take your boards. That is the first of a multi-part series. I haven't announced my second live yet, and that's just because of scheduling, but I'm going to be making that announcement very soon within the week or so. So be looking out for that as well. All right, guys, let's get started. Pulmonic stenosis. Now I want you guys to take a look at this heart, right? What's wrong here? What's wrong here? Look at the unoxygenated blood that's coming through the superior, uh, superior inferior vena cava, right? It's going through the atrium, the right ventricle. And now at the entrance of that pulmonary artery, what do we see? Narrowing. So that means there's less unoxygenated blood that's going through here to go through here to pick up oxygen in the lungs. Let's look at the, at the description. The description here, let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Look at what the description says. I'm not reading all of that. I'm getting to the point. It says narrowing at the entrance of the, pulmon of the pulmonary artery. And you can see that clear as day here. Look how, look, how, look how narrow this is. So let's keep going. Clinical manifestation, signs and symptoms. What's the patient going to look like? They may be asymptomatic. Some may have mild cyanosis. So just a little bit of a bluish tint, just a tiny little bit, not enough to call it a, a cyanotic congenital disorder, right? Or we can see signs and symptoms of heart failure. Look at this, loud systolic ejection murmur at the upper left sternal border may be present. Let me tell you something. If you see a test question with loud systolic ejection murmur, upper left sternal border, what are you going to be thinking of? You're going to be thinking of pulmonary stenosis, okay, pulmonary, pulmon. You know, I can't speak. You guys are used to it by now. Pulmonic stenosis. That is what you need to be thinking of. All right, moving on. Surgical treatment. What are we going to be doing for these types of patients? In infants, they may do a closed valvotomy. That is a, a choice that is a surgical choice. In children, pulmonary valvotomy with CPB is a, surgical, is a surgical treatment. But look at what it says, guys. This is the important part. Look, need for surgical treatment is rare with widespread use of balloon angioplasty um, techniques. So they hardly even have to do the type of surgery anymore because of the balloon angioplasty. And they gave us, they give us a beautiful illustration. Look at what they do, guys. First, Again, let's look at the problem here. Let's look at how narrow that opening to the pulmonary artery is, right? That unoxygenated blood is trying to get to the lungs to pick up oxygen, but it has to pass through here and it's very narrow. Well, look at the balloon angioplasty. Look at what they do. Look at this balloon. It opens up that narrowed, um, that narrowed area. See, see how it was narrow up here? Look how small and skinny it was. And now they open it up so that that unoxygenated blood can get through to get to the lungs to go pick up oxygen. So that's important for you guys to know. Balloon angioplasty in the cardiac catheterization laboratory is done to dilate the valve. That's it, guys. That is your pulmonic stenosis. And I know when you guys see these cardiac congenital disorders, you get so nervous, you get so scared. It's not a big deal. That's what's going on. 
you see the pathology and you see what we do to fix it. That is your pulmonic stenosis in a nutshell. I think I cleared that up in less than five minutes. Guys, let me know in the video, in the comment section, what you thought about this video. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see me cover. I promise I will keep going and I'm going to be covering the other disorders that are cyanotic, such as um, tetralogy of phallic, tricuspid, astresia, great vessels, all of those. They're coming. I promise you they're coming. So let me know what you thought about in this video. Watch out for my announcement that's coming soon on my next live that I'm going to be doing on YouTube for NCLEX preparation. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will catch me on the next video.